Hi and welcome back to part 2 of our tutorial. I've just extended down the legs using the extrude tool and now as you can see I've got two legs here and joined by a set of basic hips and now I'm going to extrude up the body so I'm just going to rotate so I can see the top of the model and just zoom in using my scroll wheel and select right click to select that middle section and now I'm just going to go E extrude hold down control again let it step up so all this modeling on this first model is done in cubes to keep everything nice and easy to work so hold down control let it click up hold down control again click and I think I'll just go up one more okay now you can go whatever proportion you want to make your model that's good okay so that's going to be the basis of the bottle of the of the body but we'll sculpt it a little bit more in a minute okay I'm just going to go X and delete the face so and that'll leave it open for when we join the head onto the body okay so now I'm going to extrude out some arms so I'm just going to go E extrude hold down control click it out Okay, that's good. So I'm just going to go out three blocks wide. Going to extrude out this side. Okay, that's good. Okay, so you can see the basics of my body is starting to come together now. Okay, the next thing we're going to learn to do is to add another object in Blender. Just like in SketchUp, um, you can have multiple objects that join together or you can have separate objects by using groups in SketchUp. In Blender we do this by going back into object mode and then adding an object. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go back to object mode and I'm going to look at my model square on. So to do that, I'm going to use my NumLock 1. NumLock 3 and NumLock 7 you can see rotate around square onto the body. I'm going to use number 3 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as you can see, I'm looking square on at the body and I'm left clicking with my mouse to make this white and red ring move around on the screen okay so wherever that appears that's where our object is going to appear so I'm going to go shift A to add an object shift A mesh and I'm going to choose the monkey okay so there it is there you can see that it's added the monkey head in a couple of things that we need to do to get the monkey head to line up with the body this first thing we need to do is rotate the head so I can click down here on the rotate manipulator tool let's click on that now and you can see that these have changed from being arrows to um, to being handles that we can grab so I'm going to rotate the monkey around and by holding down control gives me 5% increments you can see in the very bottom right hand corner there this rotation set on 90 degrees that's fine and now I'm going to grab the green handle and rotate my head approximately 90 degrees that's good okay to start to fit it onto the body I'm going to go num lock at 1 num lock 3 okay that's good so we're looking at it from the other angle I might just flip the head around so it's looking to the front so I'll just turn it 180 degrees that's good okay that's fine so I've got my head facing the right direction now and I'm going to scale up the monkey head a little bit so I hit my S key and then I drag my mouse away from my object and you can see it makes it larger I'm just going to look from the front view now that's good and I'm just going to fit that down onto my body so I'm going to click back here on my translate manipulator which just means it moves things around and I'm going to move the head down onto the body a little bit okay that's good 
Now, I'm also going to add a modifier to the head. So remember we added a modifier to the body and that smoothed out the body from its original cubic shape. The same thing with the monkey mesh head here. We're going to add a modifier. So I select the spanner, add modifier, down and select the subdivision surface. So I'm just going to select the subdivision surface in the bottom left and I'm going to turn these up to 3 and four a piece and we can see here that now the head is nice and smooth excellent okay so now that we're starting to get our monkey sorted out it's a good time to save and then we'll come back and have a look at sculpting up our monkey in a little bit more detail and setting up the render camera